artists. Today we are going to learn how to transfer a pencil design that we've drawn into a piece of foam. And I have a checklist that I'm going to go through today during the demonstration. And anything that is on the checklist, I will show you and explain. But when this video is done, when this demonstration is done, I will post this on the board so you can refer back to it. So anything that you forgot, you can look up here and hopefully it will remind you. So we have been working on a winter printmaking design by drawing in things that we think of when we think of winter onto our paper. So we've been planning and drawing on our printmaking paper. And if you're not done with that, it's okay. So when I'm done with the demonstration, you can go back and finish this first. But when you're done, here's the next steps. So next step, you're going to need a piece of foam. It looks almost exactly like a regular piece of paper, but when you have it in your hand, you'll feel that it's thicker. I also love foam because you can get this in other places around your home as well. So if you really love printmaking, this is something you might be able to do from your home. So step one, get your foam. Step two, write your name on the back with a Sharpie gently. The Sharpie is waterproof, so it will stay even if we wash our foam. So very gently, I wrote my name on the back with Sharpie, and then I'm going to put my Sharpie away. We're not going to need it again for the rest of the period, so put it back in your bin, put it away. And the next step, number four, says we need to cut out our printmaking design rectangle from the packet. So if you need to, you can pull the packet apart if you have a stapled one, and you're going to use your scissors to cut out this rectangle. Any scraps that you get, please throw them in the garbage. Even if they're not yours, if you see a scrap on the floor or the table, please throw them in the garbage. But step number four, cut out our design from the packet. So there's my cut design. Now, step number five, we need to get a small piece of tape to tape our design to the foam. So I use masking tape and you only need a little tiny piece. Boop. And we are going to tape our paper design to the foam. So I'm gonna flip my foam over so the name is on the back, line it up, and I'm gonna tape this to my foam. It's okay if your tape covers part of your picture because you'll be able to see through it. So just a little piece of tape on the top. You only need one piece to tape your paper to your foam. Next, number six, we need to switch and use a pen. In fact, a cheaper ballpoint pen is really the best kind of pen for this. If you have a fancy felt tip pen, it's actually not going to work very well because we need to press hard. So save that for something else. Get a nice cheap pen. If you don't have a ballpoint pen, I have extras for you to borrow on the materials table, but please put them back. So here we go. Number six, I'm going to use a pen to draw over my paper design. This is a little confusing, so I'm using a blue pen so you could see it. But on the paper that's taped to my foam, I am using my pen to draw over my design. So I'm drawing over. I'm not pressing super duper hard. If your paper rips, it's not a big deal, but use that as your clue to say, oh, shoot, okay, maybe don't press quite so hard. But the paper is actually not going to be the final project. So it's okay if your paper gets funky. You're going to draw over your design with your pen. And I'm going to stop here to show you the next steps. I often draw over a small section and then I jump ahead to the next step. And then I'll go back and draw over another section, jump ahead, draw over, jump ahead, draw over, jump ahead. So number six, use a pen to draw over the paper design. Number seven says flip over cover paper. I'm not going to take it off. I'm just going to flip it over. And at first it looks like there's nothing there. But if you kind of hold it up to the light and turn it a little bit, you can see that very lightly 
my design has been pressed into the foam. Foam is thicker and you can press into it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. But I have bad news for you. That's not enough. We need to press it deeper. I have a great analogy for you since we're doing winter prints. Sledding. Imagine fresh snow. The first time you sled, you kind of have to go careful because you want to make a really good track exactly where you want it to be. But then the second time you can go over that track, but you still have to be kind of careful. So I'm pressing a little harder going over my sled track again. But then if you really want it to stay and freeze up nice and make a nice icy sled track, especially when it's deep snow, you go back again. So I pressed once through the paper, once on the foam, and now I'm on sled track number two in the foam. I'm going to go back again, sled track number three, directly into the foam. And you know what? I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it one more time, sled track number four. And after you do four sled tracks directly into the foam, so five total, one through the paper, four in the foam, if you use your finger, I know you can't see this, but if you use your finger, you can feel the deep tracks in the foam. Again, if you poke through the foam, that's telling you, eh, ease up a little bit. It's okay. You don't need to start over, but you don't want to go so hard that you poke through. And you don't want to press really hard the first time because you might not get those really nice, smooth, curving lines. So then I go back to number six. I flip my paper over. And then I do the next part of my design once in the paper gently. I'm not pressing too hard. Get that nice curve going. And then I flip it over. You can kind of see it. And then I'll go over the second sled track. A little pressure, but not too hard the second time. Especially with curves. And then sled track number two, sled track number three, push again, and sled track number four. And you want to check it. You might even need to do five to see if you need to go deeper. After I'm done with all that, it's like a cooking channel. It's going to look like this. Then you can feel, make sure everything's been pushed in. If you want to go back and make some areas a little bit thicker, some of your lines thicker, you can. I decided I wanted to go back and add some dots for snow. You really want to fill up your entire foam with designs. You don't want some empty spots with no designs. So that's number eight. Press directly into the foam three or more times with a pen. I don't have the last step here, but the last step is I do very gently peel off my tape. And you can save this in your folder or your art portfolio. You don't really need it anymore. So if you accidentally get rid of it, it's okay. But I do often like to save it just to refer to. But now we have your foam printing block ready for the next steps, which we'll talk about later. This will take you a long time. So it's okay if it takes you one and a half or even two class periods. I'd rather you take your time and do a really good job with your foam. Thanks for watching. Can't wait to see how your prints come out.